On this episode of Tinkering with Terrius, I'm going to do the safety modifications to the 862D Plus solder rework station. If you saw my previous video, you'll know already that it is quite dangerous. It has the fuse and the switch on the neutral side of the unit instead of on the live side. This is completely against electrical codes in Canada. It means that if for some reason you have a short to ground from live, the fuse cannot trigger and the entire unit is going to become live. So this could result potentially in a fire or in an electrical shock. Either of these things is bad. Another thing I found out with more poking around in here is that the hot air gun is actually driven directly from mains power. So it's connected directly to the live side and switched at the front of the unit. I'm not as worried about the hot air gun as I am about the actual main switch here because once the fuse is in its proper location everything else in the unit will be fused properly and it won't be as dangerous. It was suggested to me that maybe they had screwed up at the factory and that the plug to the wall was actually backwards so that the neutral wire in the case that's white was actually the live wire and the live wire which is the black wire was actually neutral and that maybe that was the reason it was all set up like this so we have an easy way to test that got my multimeter here set to continuity and we have the power plug here so in Canada the this is what our outlets look like the bigger prong is the neutral prong and the smaller prong is the live prong and of course middle is ground so when we take a look at the cable from the rework station here you'll see that the left should be neutral and the right should be live so in order to test the continuity here I just connected a crocodile clip here to the probe. Now I'm going to attach it to the side that should be neutral. And then we're just going to check with the probe here. And we're going to check and see if this white wire right here is actually neutral. So the switch on the back is set to off. So if I contact here where the live is coming in, there's no continuity which confirms that that is definitely 100% neutral and it's 100% switching on neutral. Very poor design. In my previous video I mentioned briefly that because of the way it's set up everything will be live up to that switch when it's turned off. So I've switched the sides here. I have the probe, positive probe connected to the live side now of the cable. And let's poke around a little bit in here. So we're going to check this. You can see the fuse is not contacted at all. This side of the fuse, this is the side of the switch where the fuse comes in. Nothing. So it's certainly not switching live to there. it is coming all the way through the unit so everything up until that point will have 120 volts going through it when the switch when the main switch is off essentially the only part that should have power is the mains cable up to the switch that should be the only parts of the device that have live current flowing to them I'm going to splice the mains neutral to this red wire and then I'm going to splice the live wire into this connector right here and then from this connector I'm going to connect back into the black wire over here it's a little convoluted but it keeps everything the same as it is right now so it keeps the live on the one side of the circuit and it keeps the neutral on the other side the one nice thing is the board did have very good separation between the AC side and the DC side I also have a little diagram done here. So this diagram shows how the circuit is connected. So you have the 
mains coming in right here. This is this. It is going to ground to the case right here. All of the other grounds from the unit are coming in here as well. You then have the live wire, this one here, heading off to the circuit board to a connector on the board. That would be the black wire running off all the way into the middle of nowhere over there. And then you have the neutral right here from the mains and that is connected to the fuse and then to the switch and then to the circuit board. Hopefully afterwards it will switch to this. It's important to note before you start messing around in this unit that this is the AC side of the circuit. This is the main side. You have to be very careful with what you're doing. You have to make sure everything is properly covered and everything afterwards. You don't want any of these wires being able to make contact with the casing of the unit and cause a ground short and all that bad stuff that would have been really terrible before and would only just be mostly terrible after the mod. Either way, it's very important to be very careful and very vigilant when you're working with the main side of a circuit. And under most normal circumstances, I would say don't do it. But because this is so dangerous as it is now, it's kind of required in order to make this reasonably safe for use. The first thing we have to do is decide how far back we want to cut the wires. There is lots of excess in the black wire. There is not very much excess in the red wire. So we're going to use... We're going to make sure there's more white wire to connect to the red wire and we can cut the black wire fairly short because it's just coming right here to this white wire. I'm going to keep this heat shrink tubing intact. I'm going to cut this wire probably right about here, maybe maybe a little bit further up. The red wire here is going to be connecting to the other end of the black live wire. So once we have the mods done, we're going to check continuity on the entire thing and make sure there's no strange grounds or anything that we haven't screwed up. <laughs> so first up, first cut is going to be this white wire. I'm actually going to cut this little tie wrap first. Free up these cables, make them a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to cut the white wire fairly long, just to make it a little easier to splice into the red wire. So I'm thinking right about there. So we'll start with the neutral and the new splice for that. So it's safe to cut it about back here. The red wire gives us tons of tons of area to work with. I do apologize for the poor video quality if it's fairly poor here because I'm more worried about getting this done right at this moment than I am about filming it. No, that's not uh, a great attitude, but this is AC and I want to be safe. Looks like I'm going to be using the red heat shrink tubing. I was hoping black would fit, but it's uh, quite a bit too big. Hopefully that fan doesn't produce too much noise. I'm going to put a very substantial piece of heat shrink on here because I want to make sure it's absolutely, completely protected. 
just with where it's located I don't really don't want to mess around with it This little wire here is just going to connect right here, and then up here it's going to connect back. So we don't need very much work with there. Okay, so we're going to splice these two wires together now. Next one is black wire to the red wire. So with the meter connected to the live side of the outlet plug and the switch turned off, you'll see that it beeps when we connect it here. And this is the live coming in. It's coming here to the fuse. And it is coming up here into the switch. The other side of the switch has no continuity. Now this does mean that the fuse is always connected. I could have swapped that around, but that would have meant way more splices. So once we switch to neutral here, you would expect neutral to be able to connect here. It can. Can't connect to the live side of the switch. So this is this is neutral right now. Can't get it over to the live. I should have left that uncovered so that I could check and make sure it's working over there. Um, yeah. So that wire is connected to neutral. We're all good. Now connected to neutral and just making sure that there's essentially nothing there grounded. Same with live. Touch on a couple metal items, touch on the ground wire. Everything seems good. So as far as I can tell, everything should be hunky-dory. Yeah, it's a fairly easy mod. It's really just snipping those three wires and making three solder joints. And that could potentially save against a fire or electric shock. So, well worth it. But again, 
be very careful. It is the AC side. Make sure your joints are good. Okay, I'm going to do a smoke test now. Turn it on, make sure it still works. It is now plugged in. Switch turns on. Lights blink. Soldering iron still looks like it works. Check the hot air gun. Yep. Hopefully I showed how to modify this fairly well. It's very simple really, it's just making sure that the switch moves over to the live side instead of the neutral. So thank you for watching this episode of Tinkering with Terrius. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. You can also email me or tweet me. Don't forget to like or dislike this video depending on how you feel about it. If you want to share this video, feel free. If you enjoyed this episode of Tinkering with Terrius, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can just click the gears in the middle of the screen here. If you want to see more of my videos, there should be a couple of them also up on the screen now. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.